Welcome back, guys. Get it, the lieutenant did it, the vin and the bin and the killing. Crippled dated pictures are painted as vivid, living the wizard, the weapons, the secret mission. She just had to get that off my chest. Fresh off the press, another poll, another result for Flipper Zero, reigning supreme as usual. I've heard the comments, and yes, I will be conducting probably less polls concerning Flipper Zero, just so we have a plethora of content on the channel, not just Flipper orientation. In other news, today we're going to look at a new challenger in the firmware arena, a creature of mystery, a legend to some, and you're going to know, so buckle up, turn up those speakers, and let's go! go. So in my previous review of Flipper firmware, we looked at the leading firmware options available to the community via Git, which included Unleashed and Rogue Master. We also looked at Extreme Flipper by Clara Crazy, which delivered a kinkier yet subtle take on things, but is well documented and backed up with functionality and stability. Now, within the Hacking Time team, there's been whispers or murmurs of a new player that's developed another firmware that I believe deserves review. Now, I want to introduce a new player to the firmware scene, Squatchware by Talking Sasquatch. Now, if we head over to his GitHub, we can see already there are some popular repositories available to us. So if we first review Sasquatch's animation repo, some of you might or might not be familiar with his work already, but he is hands down on the best guide and mentor I've had for making animations. And he helped me greatly on my previous video on making your first flipper animation. Now, if we look at the working directory for the animations folder, we have a few folders available to us. First, we have the battery only top status bar. So one can just have the battery and then one can have no power bar at all. Kind of nice if you want that custom touch on that. Next, we have the finished animations, which were last committed last month. And we still have more animations that are not finished. So they're continually being worked on by himself. So if we look into the finished animations, you might already know and seen his firmwares without really knowing who he was. So let's just scroll down to what's available to us. First, we have the Matrix Rain, probably the most famous of the animations, one of the first I came across and really got me motivated into making a animation on the Flipper Zero. Next, we also have the Naruto Run, another favorite of mine we have the blaster we have goku on the nimbus classic we also have just a goku one a lot of these also featured on rogue master we of course have the custom firmware for rogue master intro itself once that installs we have the salad fingers from back in the day we have, of course, Stickmen. So, animations are, of course, a very, very strong point here. Clean, concise, and actually work. So, if we go back, we can see we have Squatchware custom firmware available to us. And this is a fork from the Flipper Zero firmware directly itself now there's already been commits and as you can see from the logs this is getting updated hourly and weekly and daily so it's an ongoing project and has a huge development drive and resources being pulled in from every angle of the community so i want to see really what's on offer here and the great work he's done so far so as we can see we have some releases only eight hours ago from recording that one release was made now keep in mind sasquatch himself previously mentioned in a video that this firmware veers away from any illegal elements that can cause either harm to your flipper or inhibit its functionality so it's very much geared towards staying on the line of the official firmware but offering all the tweaks and animations and tools that you would expect from a custom firmware and 
I'm really a fan when it comes to functionality and stability. So let's give this a test drive and see what it looks like on the flipper. So for me, I'm gonna install it on a Windows operating system. So we can go into the zip. If you're doing it on a Linux, you can go for the TGZ. So let's download that. Right, now that's downloaded, we can install the Squatchware firmware and see what's going on with it. So if we head over to the file manager and then we go into SD card and then we can go into updates and then we can take our Squatchware and install that. Yes, we will upload it and let that work, it's magic. Right, now we have that installed, we can head over to the flipper and then we can press down back to access the update directory on the browser. Now we can click through to find our custom Squatchware. There we have it. Now we have Squatchware. Go to the bottom, go to the update with the up folder icon and then run the app. Let's go. All right, before we get started again, I could just go into sub gigahertz and then assets and then here we can see the settings and the settings user and the extended ranges again you could just override those with the ones you have available to you as i'm going to do as you know there's certain ranges that i do play around with sometimes and i want to keep those in check now that's done we can get into what's actually on offer on Squatchware. So we have exactly installed the firmware successfully. So we can hit OK. And now we met with the classic Sasquatch animations, all exclusive ones, of course, to this firmware. So we have the Terminator ones. Now to flip through the animations, we can hold down the center button to see what's on offer. Nice, official squatch wear. Nice, I remember seeing this one on one of his shorts when he demoed the Wi-Fi dev board with the Marauder. Sick. I like this one. This this is a funny animation actually because it's almost an inside joke so if you remember i referenced the flipper on the couch and it's actually a failure in terms of an animator's perspective when you're actually trying to animate an animation and it doesn't work so he's kind of put the middle finger up here at flipper and he's changed the perspective so you're looking behind the couch instead of the TV facing the flipper here, that's, that's kind of jokes. I, li I like what he's done here. All right, so those are kind of like the animations I could see at the minute on the manifest. And I can see there's a lot of hours being put into making these just from, if you watch my other videos, how long it takes to make these animations. So animations, check. You know, you're gonna get some sick ones as and when they come out. Next, let's get into the nitty gritty. Sub gigahertz, let's see what's on offer. If we go to read, boom. Again, he's got his own skin over the scanner, which is sick. Uh, if we go to config, see if we configure channel on a modulation, so it's an FM mod. Does that reflect? And yes, it does. Nice stuff. All right, read raw, that's cool. Frequency analyzer, in check. Slightly changed a little bit, but in check. Next, we have RFID scan. Nice, still there. The Indala key. Yep, everything's still in check. Next, we have NFCs. Nice, can I detect a reader? Nice, it's kept it all the same. Extra, specific card. Left the EMV one for those who like to scan credit cards, of course. I suggest you don't do that, by the way. Um, nice. All right. Got infrared as usual. Now I've got coming to infrared, actually. I've got a whole stack of infrared. 
in my library. So we've got cameras, cars and multimedia, CCTV, CD clones. Definitely check out the boy Uber Z's repo if you want to get some more IR kind of codes for all different types of stuff. Good stuff. Infrared, still check. Nice. GPIO, Art Bridge. All right, I have to disconnect to actually use that. Manual control. Nice. I button. Still yet to use this. So I'm still yet to find an I button. I do know they use them in uh, the underground in London or in the train station. So interesting. Might be able to use it there. USB. Bad USB. I have to test that out, obviously, when I disconnect. The two factor. Again, probably wouldn't trust it on this, but it's there and available. So let's go to applications, check out the games are intact. We have Blackjack, Game of Life, this is new. Where's this one? Not sure what this game's doing, sort of looks like bird swarms in the air. <laughs> Don't know about that one. Uh, heat Defense. Flipper orientated as well. Jeez. That's a new one. We kept the Tamagotchi. Yes, sir. That's up, G. Got tanks as well. Classic. Jeez. Single co op. <laughs> you get co ops as well, yeah? Nice. Not bad. Not bad. And we have the classic snake, of course. This one's actually operating a bit faster than the one I used before. Very nice. Good job, bro. All right. Kept those intact for those lonely train rides. Next, we have MISC. An authenticator app. So it's still empty. Add a new token. All right. This kind of like for a 2FA. I don't know if I would trust to use uh, the flipper for this. Only for the simple fact, firmware crashes, it's gone. Next we have barcode generator. All right, don't see a use case where I would use this so far. Guess I was multiplying some uh, hitmen, as it were. <laughs> Drilling out in the back of the head. Shh. All right, so we got Caesar Cypher. Got a calculator. Never actually use these sections here. Got a counter, a hex viewer, mouse jiggler, uh, multi converter as well. Nice. Got paint. USB keyboard and mouse. Was this kind of like a plug and play situation? Oh, that is sick. You see that, guys? I'm moving my cursor with the flipper. I'll show you what this looks like from, from my perspective. Not bad. I'll be interested to see if this would work over Bluetooth. All right, continue. So we have a Wii EC analyzer. Not bad, not bad. Music player, of course. There you go. Final Fantasy Victory Fan. Damn right, boy. What else we got? Had to get my ocarina in. And let's see if I can hit Saria song. Nah, ain't gonna work. <laughs> All right, Sam, no. Sam, what the fuck? Oh my god, I ain't seen these ones. Got Wave Player. I might have to drop some tunes in that, see how that plays. And a Zero Tracker. Jeez, that 8-bit love. 
Chill, 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 turn off, boy. That went a bit crazy on that zero tracker. <laughs> All right, next up we have got some tools available to us. We have got the DTMF Dolphin Dialer. Okay, a red box, meaning what, phone box in the UK? 10p. No way. I remember seeing this sort of hacking. It's an old school film, Hackers. They did something like this at a pay box. All right, we've got a button fuzzer as well. Nice. We have a name changer. We <laughs> changed the flipper's name. All right. I'm going to change the name. So we changed the flipper's name to. Of course, the name of this. And save that bad boy. All right, it's rebooting. Hopefully, the name will change at the top. Woo! There we have it. If you want to change that annoying default name, Sasquatch has offered you that functionality within Squatchware. Nice one, bro. All right. And he offered me a custom animation to go with it. What can I say? There's nothing more to say. He actually smashed it. Well done, man. Now, if I looked under the hood on actually what's happened here. So if we go to SD, remember from the animation video, they're stored within Dolphin. We have now two manifests occurring. Interesting. So we download this. So if we open this manifest, we can see that the custom name that I put in, which was my one, is actually bound to the package and the animations that are to this manifest. So the way this works is that we have the manifest.txt file that is used by default. But when we change the name, the system will continue to use the standard one until we change that name to whatever we change it to and instead use the custom manifest, which is manifest2 in this case, and play a different set of animations. The specific animations played will be determined by the settings we have in place. So we could change everything from the passport to the animations themselves through this name changer. Hopefully we get to that stage with, within the firmware. So speaking of passports, we didn't even look at what was done there. Bang, bang. And the mood is squatchy, of course it is. After this, how could you not be? Completely smashed it, knocked out of the park with this one on the animation front, on the name changer front, and just keeping everything, and some new things that I actually didn't even see before on this one. That was Squatchware. As we saw, it's a wicked piece of firmware that offers a great alternative to the others that is both slick and safe for work, customized and packed with exclusive animations and a forward thinking community. If you are looking for a firmware that can meet all those requirements, then I suggest this might be the right option for you. I'm personally choosing to stick with it and join the community over on Discord, link in the description below, and contribute new ideas and further enhance this firmware and its community. Remember to leave positive comments below and stay safe in the cyberspace. Peace out. Peace out.